Yes. Uh, is there still a, a large demand for pickleball courts and times that could be alleviated by having this additional gymnasium? To answer the first part, yes, there's there's pickleball. Our, the pickleball participants is growing. It's a, a very fabulous sport. If you haven't tried it, try it. Um, but to answer your question, we have one gym and we're trying to balance that between if we build another gym over here, certainly we want these we want these facilities to be used and respected and um, have the spaces that we need, not only for today, but also going into the future. So pickleball could be over here as well. Could help us alleviate some of the demands at Wolf, so. Okay, I'm moving on, because I know I'm getting over my time here, um, because this room needs to be rechanged for another meeting here soon, but I want to give it, lastly, there's a 2.2 acres. Um, We've mentioned and we've tried to make sure people understand EPRD does not own a lot of land. It's always easy when you have the land and you own the land to make decisions, but the property in which you're sitting and the surrounding grounds is about 23 acres. That was um, good foresight from your board of directors back starting 2000 um, to start acquiring the land so this building could be built, the trail system's built. but. We are looking to purchase the 2.2 that is kind of the odd piece out. It's between Denver Mountain Parks and kind of our shop buildings and the admin building just up through the woods. So we don't have any plans to do anything with it, but certainly to you know have it as open space and complete that puzzle for us as a, as a community. So um, we don't have this pricing yet that's still to be determined but certainly something that our board is interested in uh, me pursuing who, who would it be bought for? who owns it now uh, it's a private uh, resident that owns it um, and, and is very interested in it for parks and rec instead of they've looked at townhomes and i would rather see yeah. park and rec district so i don't know about you but i'm kind of one of those hey i'd rather see open space than townhomes in there but don't tell any our Is that the story. only land that the park district doesn't own in this loop here? Yes. Other than Denver Mountain Park. Right. So certainly yeah. Okay. Okay, and also looking at an additional outdoor multi-use pickleball courts. Um, um, went from eight to four, but four additional outdoor courts that we would be looking at for multi-use. This is on the website, so you can go through, but you saw those individual totals there. And then we also added kind of a, um, a box there so that you know how much is it going to cost who's willing to pay for it those are those questions um, so one thing is that I think is really important for you to know because you might be out talking with our citizens task force which has been an amazing group of people um, but what did the citizens task force eliminate it based on you know we were trying to not throw out the pie in the sky but throw out things that really were projects that that community has come to us and want to for whatever reason, aquatic center. So basically, the building a whole new aquatic center that has kind of the slides and the, the lap lanes um, to get eight more lap lanes. Well, that was about, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna start coughing, about $25 million. The task force eliminated that. The field house, uh, a field house that can serve our growing demands for our fields, which was about 11.2 million. They eliminated that. <laughs> they reduced our eight pickleball courts to four, so that reduced that cost. Renovate the wolf pool to stay on the same size rather than expand to the um, the 2.4, so really getting that eight million so we have a two bodies of water. And then the land purchase, we had purchasing more land than just this Buchanan, and they said no to that at this time, just, per just focus on purchasing this land. So those are the things that they eliminated. So I think our total was, Kelly helped me, what the grand total was, it was well over $80,000, and I know many are shocked with the $34 million. <laughs> um, but anyway, just so that you have that information. Once again, what we're looking at hasn't been decided. A survey is going out, um, but the size of the bond, based on the projects I described here for you today, is $34.7 million, the size of the mill levy to address the un met needs primarily in aquatics of 900,000 so the tax 
impact per $100,000 home, actual value with the bond in the mill is $3.63 per month. Um, and I know you need to do the math if your home is higher than that. Like I said, the average home is five, six, 516000 so I've done the math on that and it's approximately $18 a month um, for the homeowner. Um, and then we do have the 500000 there as well, so I actually have it up there. Other related tax issues that have been asked, I think it's important to share, Colorado Senior Property Tax Exempt still is in place, so 50% off for the first 200,000 of the actual value for qualifying applicants primary resident is exempt, and the residential rate, the AR, R, AR uh, is going down. Recently it declined, decreased from 7.9 to 7.22 in 2019, that is projected to go down another 6.5%. Why now? Why should EPRD be looking at this now? We have been looking at this for a while. So I want to make sure that everybody understands that we've been working hard to gather facts and continually trying to update our facts so that everyone is aware of what's going on with our capital improvement project. And certainly there's a lot of moving pieces. I'm not going to the trail. We are still trying to figure things out because we are tasked with a lot of things to make sure that we're taking care of these things for you. But we need to look at extending the life of our existing recreation centers by addressing those improvements. We heard last time, make sure that there's improvements at both. Um, so we've tried to be very sensitive in listening to that. Uh, relieve the capacity issues at our two rec centers. Um, allowing for more drop-ins, because that's another thing that we hear from our constituents. I can't even come to use the rec center because there's no drop-in time. It's always programmed. Um, and primarily, improve people with disabilities. And it's not people just with people in wheelchairs. Our population is going up. Um, we have a very active community. We have folks that have had hip replacements, knee replacements. They need the, they're using the water to get their exercise. What I'm very proud of and what I love is this is a very healthy community. Um, and they, they, they use these rec centers. Many of you raised your hands and our amenities. Um, but we would be looking to make sure that, that those were enhanced for po special populations and beyond that. Um, and expanding our programs for our seniors, whether it's pickleball. Um, pickleball, you can be young. If you guys haven't played pickleball, you should try it. It's a fun, fun sport. But all of the, the programs that continue, as Brian showed you and demonstrated, the continuation of what's great is people are using our facilities. And, um, you know, attending our programs and our classes. Um, once again, improving our popular trail system. We hear that, I hear that over and over and over again. We're looking at other trails, um, reducing the wait list for our youth. Um, the, the fishing camp just this weekend was full and people couldn't get in. Um, so, you know, there's just all of those things that people are asking more, not more of us, but really love what we're doing so they're popular. Addressing in our highest priority aquatic needs. And then obviously, ultimately, what is it in for me? Well, hopefully everyone sees the park and rec. I know I do, so I'm, I've got my biased hat on. Um, I support park and recreation. There is a lot of value that goes to your property because you have a park and recreation district. So that is, that is my ending note. What are our next steps? So we're in the middle of this process. Feedback. We are in the middle of three community meetings. If you like this presentation or if you didn't like it, I'd like to know. Let me know what I could do better. Um, I'm out next Tuesday presenting this again. Kelly, are we at Wolf on Tuesday? Yes. It's Tuesday at 6.30 at Wolf, um, the 15th, and then I have another one on Thursday the 31st back here. 31st, not the 30th. So I tried to do a couple of different days to get folks out. So tell your neighbors, we need to hear from you all. Um, there is a mail survey that is going out to ask all these questions of you. Would you support, would you support a pool so that we can decipher and filter through this information? But it's you all that are going to be giving that feedback to us. We're gonna carry that feedback back to the Citizens Task Force who is scheduled to meet on June 13th. And they will ultimately, through all of the folks that tell us, let us know what you're thinking, 
Um, they'll make that recommendation to your Evergreen Park and Rec District Board. They ultimately have the decision to put it on the ballot. So if the survey says yes, go for it, or yes, go for it, but cut it back down to you know, 20 million, I don't know. If there's some modifications to it, the board will ultimately do that. If they do put it on the ballot, <laughs> obviously legal and all of that has to determine what that ballot language looks like. But I know as a constituent, I don't like any surprises on a ballot that I don't know about. Um, so I am doing my best along with my staff to try to get information out to you to empower, educate, reapply as necessary because I know how fast communication runs around this district and all of a sudden, you know, one piece of information where I say it was $80 million, I heard it was $80 million. No, 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 we're only at 34 right now. <laughs> so, um, and then ultimately, if, if it goes to the bond, it's you all. You all as taxpayers, you all as voters, it becomes your decision. And voters vote, I believe, especially for bond and mills. 